Do you have restless finger syndrome? Always emailing, texting, or checking out social media sites? Well, now some hotels and resorts are offering their customers a unique way to go tech free. Early show technology expert Katie Linendahl has the details. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Rebecca. Sounds kind of interesting. Uh, very interesting. Just wait and see. Hotels, believe it or not, are now introducing digital detox packages and even offering a 15% off discount if you're willing to turn off, tune out, and go old school. As a technology expert, it's my job and really a major part of who I am to be connected. But this digital detox intrigued me, so I checked into the Renaissance Hotel in Pittsburgh to see if I could handle it. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? I am good at the moment. Good at the moment. I'm okay. here for the intervention. Board games. Then the moment arrived. At this point, I'm going to ask you to turn over all electronic devices. I had to surrender all of my gadgets, my and, and I had a lot. Do you my chargers, too? Um, yes, please. Crossword puzzles, boring, boring, boring. A lot of nature noises going on. With this digital detox package, I'm beginning to realize that I don't think I could part with my gadgets unless someone took them from me by force. Instead of an app, I had to use a map to get around. Instead of playing on my iPad, I took a kayak lesson. I just tweeted that I'm kayaking in my mind. I give you my number, but I don't have a phone. <laughs> and I think for a few hours to disconnect, it was fun and fine, but now I'm starting to feel a little stressed because I'm feeling really unproductive. It's been a long day, and for the first time in a long time, I go to bed solo without the iPad. So, good night for now. The next morning, I couldn't wait to tune back in and turn back on. Room amazing, view amazing, project not for me. Mm. After 20 hours of being unplugged, I have successfully finished my detox. I got my devices back. Now, it's time to get back to work. You call that a successful finish to the detox, Katie? Yes, I do. But you're going back to the materials. You, you can't stay away from the technology. No. There's no lasting impact here. No, I can't. It's funny. If this had went into day two and day three, day four, I think I would have had a mini meltdown. You would have gotten the shakes or something yes, like that. Yes, because I was still checking for, like, my black. I felt like I still yes. had it on me. That was the weird part about it. I remember I, that feeling when you lose a device, yes. you know, and you're constantly checking for it, but you don't have it. Right. More businesses are going this route, though. I think it's smart. I would actually... As opposed to those boring team building efforts that companies have, I would send people there and have it be a work function to really just disconnect and be forced to do it. Because I think that's the only way it would be it would work if you were actually forced to give everything mm -hmm. up. Or for families. Yes. We know that everybody's on their gadgets now and you never see anyone anymore. You can actually enjoy your family, have a more restful vacation. Exactly. Katie Linnendahl, thank you. <laughs> it's been fun. We appreciate it. Still ahead, the delectable, delightful, and the lovely stars of any